Alrighty guys, today we have a couple parts for the E36 we're gonna go ahead and install. But also, got some big news for this thing. Finally picked up some paint for the E36. As you guys know in the last video, three coats gone. So, time for some paint on this thing. So this is what I picked up today. Here is the color. Should I show you the color? I don't know, we'll see. I don't know. That's gonna be sick. I'm looking forward to that. But this is what we're doing today, boys. It is time for the NRG. I had the steering wheel for a while. Just bought the little quick release from my buddy. Paid 10 bucks for the quick release. I believe the steering wheel was like 97 bucks. Also, if you're gonna do this, you do need a hub adapter. This is what I got off eBay, it's 20 bucks. All parts I'm using are linked down in the description in case you wanna do this to your own car. Also today, I'm gonna go ahead and try to get this power steering pump in. Oh, about dropped it. This is the part that I've been needing to get the power steering back up and running on the drift beamer. Last event, power steering ran out of fluid and I believe the pump is gone. Here's a good shot of those taillights that we installed last video. They look amazing. And now I'm just trying to go ahead and clean up the rest of the car. Get it all looking good and fresh. I still have all the interior pieces as far as the console and all this stuff about here. I just haven't had a chance to kind of mold it around the hydro. That was the big issue. Also, that door over there is stuck shut. So I'm going to see if I can get that open. Maybe clean up the back a little bit. Just kind of taking care of it, doing a little maintenance. Every once in a while, you just kind of have to take your time, do a little maintenance, clean it up a bit, keep it in tip-top shape. Got a drift event coming up here in about a, about a week or so. That reminds me, I might need to steal the air intake off my Red E36 outside and put it on the drift car here because... If you see right here, you see this intake boot is absolutely ripped. There's like a little piece of it missing that's supposed to go over the throttle body. Okay, so this one's been sitting for a little bit too and it's actually really dirty. And I'm looking in here now and this one's actually ripped too. So I might go ahead and have to order a cold air intake or something for my drift BMW inside. I'll get to this red Beamer someday. If you're the channel, this is kind of my budget track car build that I'll get to one of these days. So now I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the battery in my E36 and start taking off the airbag to install the quick release steering wheel. All right, to remove the airbag, right behind here where my finger's at, you'll feel a hole. And on the other side, right back there, there are two screws, they're both T25. I have my little T25 here. I'm gonna go ahead and poke around there, take those two out and believe the airbag should come right off. This bolt here is a 16 millimeter, so you're gonna make sure obviously to have your steering wheel locked. I put a little extension on there and give it some torque. That wasn't too bad. There she is. Now it's time to put on the hub adapter. You see those little teeth in there? That is what it has to line up with these little teeth on here. Not sure if they want you to take this off or not. Let those teeth go. All right, I'm gonna go try to knock this on, make sure the teeth line up. And if they don't, we're gonna have some issues. I'm having to use the bolt to kind of cinch the hub adapter all the way on because the teeth aren't perfect, so it doesn't slide on super easily. I don't, which I guess is good, so it doesn't like shoot off, but when it's on there, it's definitely gonna stay on there. So here's the deal with this quick release that I got for 10 bucks off my buddy, is that, see all that play? He says they loosen up over time, so they do have a little bit of play in there. Which, I mean, it's a decent amount, I guess. Like, I mean, some of that is the hub moving behind there, but like that, that amount right there. Also, I'm a pretty tall guy, so I kind of like the steering wheel to be a little bit far back, because I have really long arms, and I find myself getting kind of jammed up in myself if the steering wheel's too close to me. So, like, my seat right now is really far back, but the steering wheel, since it has the quick release on there, if you can see all that space right there, it adds. I'm not sure if I like that. I'll have to drive it around a little bit and see if I can bear with the wiggle room and how far it is to me. If I don't like all the room, I can go ahead and take off the quick release and just mount the steering wheel to the hub directly and I believe it should line up. Yeah. So you can mount that up directly. It'll push it back probably a good maybe three or four inches, which would be nice. I recently got the clutch line in that I was diagnosing a couple of videos back because my clutch wasn't working right. I'm gonna have to throw that in tonight as well. I don't know what I wanna do next, but Jordan's gonna come over here in a little bit this door is the big issue because I can't get out right now and I had to climb over the seat to get in. That's a bit of a pain. So I just put the clutch line in, now I need to bleed it. But this door, we're gonna go try to open the door. Hopefully you can open without breaking out the sawzall. 
Well, that's it, dude. Unless you're inside. It's, oh, it's zoomed. It's getting everything from like half the door. Alrighty, so we got everything installed. As you can tell, the car is actually driving. Couldn't ever get this door open, so I'm coming in and out of the window. But right now, we're gonna go take it on a little test drive. We got the power steering all good to go, so it is nice and how it should be. Made a separate video on that. Also got the clutch bled. And now we're gonna go take it out, see if we can do some street skids without, oh, I hear sirens already coming for it. Gonna do a few street skids, test it out, and make sure she is good to go for the next event. I need to adjust the steering wheel because this is actually straight. I need to go ahead and unbolt it and turn it once on the pattern so we can get it to look straight. I need to also re go ahead and retighten all these. Well, that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed it or if it helped you out at all, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and stay up to date with the builds we have going on. The channel right now is almost at 2,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for subscribing and sticking with me. This channel is really going to take off here shortly. I really believe it, and it's going to be so much fun. A lot of stuff is coming for the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good one, guys.